Every time you go to an airport, you see many planes that all have their own individual design, but have you ever thought about what it takes to give a plane its unique look? The design on an airplane's paint job, also known as livery, takes a ton of effort and skill to accomplish. The Boeing 737 is the most popular aircraft in the United States and has a surface area of roughly 9,463 square feet, which makes it no easy task. It takes teams of up to 20 people working for up to two weeks to complete one airplane. Virgin Australia reported the amount of work takes about 1,200 man hours over 11 days for their standard livery. Planes with more intricate liveries can take even longer to paint. Simple Flying reported that the Alaska Airlines Toy Story livery took 24 days and 2,800 combined man hours. Different techniques are used to give planes unique looks. Sheet lines are the familiar stripe painted across the windows, making the plane look more smooth. A hockey stick livery is when the sheet line is connected to the tail of the plane, and jelly bean liveries are when an airline does a series of planes with different colors or patterns, often on the tail of the plane. Before the paint is even applied to the plane, it travels to the painting hanger covered in a coating of chromate, allodyne, or iridite, giving it a greenish yellow color, and this prevents any corrosion of the aluminum exterior. For our British friends, you may know that as the aluminum exterior. The paint itself also prevents corrosion and damage from things like weather, oil, exposure to oxygen. When painting is ready to begin, the primer is added first to assist with adhesion. Then, like painting a car or a house, windows and lights are covered with a paper-like material. Stencils of paper and tape are used to paint deliveries, and sometimes decals are used, but not as often. The painting team then applies the new paint in sections with spray paint by hand, and at the end, the aircraft is given a shiny top coat. The paint is applied in thin layers to keep the weight of the plane down, but it still takes a lot of paint to cover the entire plane. Painting a Boeing 737 takes about 260 liters of paint, according to Virgin Australia, and a standard paint can for interior rooms, like you might use in your house, holds a gallon of paint, so this would be like getting 68 cans of paint. A Boeing 747, which is larger than a 737, requires about 454 liters of paint, according to Simple Flying, which is the equivalent of about 120 paint cans. An Airbus A380, the largest passenger aircraft, takes 3,600 liters of paint, according to Airbus, or about 950 paint cans. I wonder if you get a bulk discount for that. The painting process can cost anywhere between $100,000 to $300,000. If there is already paint on the airplane, it is removed by sanding it off or with a chemical that dissolves it off in about 24 hours. The paint can add anywhere between 500 to 1,200 pounds of weight to the airplane, so it's important to remove that old paint. Painting a Boeing 737 adds about 250 pounds or 113 kilograms. Paint on a Boeing 747 adds about 555 pounds or 251 kilograms. And Qantas reported that paint on an Airbus A380 weighs about 1,213 pounds or over 550 kilograms. That's a lot of paint. It sounds like a lot for just paint, but many airlines view their planes as representation of their brand, so of course they take it very seriously. If you're interested in planes and true crime, or maybe even little bits of aircraft trivia like this, please check out our podcast, Black Box Down. You can listen to it wherever you get podcasts.